All right, Evil Sawyer. If you want your arm back, fetch! <laughs> Woo! No McGee meat for you monsters today. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Rosebud. Yeah. Temporarily blind, yeah. Yes, nearsightedness is awesome. Oh, come on. Oh, good old time tree. Today's the day. After so many years of trying, I'm gonna finally get back to the right lake bottom timeline. Change the past. Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> oh, sorry, me. Today ain't the day. Focus, old McGee. Focus. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Maytag! You're it! Yeah. Ah, a club it good! Ah, strange dude with a club! Ah. Oh. Upper catch you, McGee! Ah. <laughs> My secret tickle spot! How'd he know? How did he know? <sighs> Not how to do the trick. Wow, strange old dude who saved my life. Wait, is it just me or do you look familiar? And smell even more familiar. That's because I am you. I know, hard to believe, right? Why not? Much stranger things always happen at Camp Lake Bottom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this old guy, me? I think we need a McGee verification test, huh? Yeah, all right. Oh, I haven't exerted my pit muscles like that in years. It's true. I'm him. You're me. We're us. Oh, wow. I mean, I totally thought we'd be taller, but come here, me. Ow, ow. My middle-aged vertebrae. So, what are you doing back in our time anyway? Glad you asked, Gretch. Because the answer is of the gravest, most important... Uh, importance! Well, important schmarptance. It's not every day I get to hang out with another me. Come on! Let's have some fun, huh? Okay. I am up for some crosswords. Huh? If the print isn't too small. Um, I'm sorry, crosswords? What kind of monster have I become? No, you don't understand. I had to give up all the classic McGee fun just to survive. I came back because today is the very day that you save us from forgetting how to have fun. I just hope it's not too late. No, no, quit it! Please, listen to me! I'm on an important mission to start a classic McGee slime fight! <laughs> <laughs> Comes from bees! Ah! 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 <laughs> and that's why I wear bug spray for the underarm deodorant. <laughs> I. Oh! The forgotten hamburger meat. Maybe I'll use it to make a barbecue for the staff. <laughs> no one's ever going to forget it, I tell you. Ever! <laughs> Pass the toilet paper. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about Fizzy Falls. 
Yay, way more bang for a burp. Now that was a barbecue. <laughs> you had one job, Mickey. And you blew it! <laughs> you totally blew it! <laughs> Easy, old McGee. It's just a bit of indigestion. Happens to everyone. I'm sorry, but I gotta head back to my reality and start searching the Lake Bottom timeline again to get back here before that barbecue. The meat was filled with monster virus. <gasps> it transformed the monsters into evil versions of themselves, hungry for bottom dweller flesh. Is that why you didn't bring along the older Gretchen and Squirt? Well, let's just say that you were probably delicious. <gasps> uh, hey, me! You might have missed that barbecue, but every McGee knows you don't travel back into the void of time and space until you come up with a classic McGee zany plan of action. Ooh, now that does look zany. We used our combined McGee know-how to build the most powerful suction device ever. Yeah, it'll suck virus molecules out of anything. And it's environmental, too. It runs on pre-used TP. <laughs> hey, come on, pay attention, guys. If you don't know how to use this incredibly complex machine, how else can we get the infected meat out of the monster's stomachs in the most disgusting way possible? I'm... Oh, hold on. I... Is there a bucket? <laughs> of course! Barfing! It's so simple! Anyone can do it! Like... So! In the future, Armand came back here for a post-barbecue nap. <gasps> Cuckoo! 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 No! Worst post-barbecue nap ever! Continuing with Operation Upchuck, next up, Rosebud. Just one wriggle of this squirt spittle covered mutant worm in Rosebud's ear ought to flip her whole stomach inside out. I make guarantee it. Good plan. I'll try to locate Sawyer. He's the last one on our upchuck list. After Sawyer's done barfing, we should be in the clear. Ah! This isn't a time for your puke pranks. In fact, all your little slow up games might have made Sawyer seriously sick. Wait a sec. Ah! Evil infected Sawyer. I always forget that Sawyer knows how to use that time tree, too. Easy. <sighs> okay, guys, the mission is off. I, uh, kind of sort of accidentally brought back infected Sawyer. And <laughs> I just can't risk any of you getting bitten by him. <laughs> Good for you, Sawyer. Looks like you got your appetite back. We can still make Rosebud barf. We just have to totally avoid evil Sawyer. Ooh. <laughs> 50 years of skid marks ought to get Rosebud barfing. No! Bad, Sawyer! Very bad! Yeah! You're the cold, tidy whitey, McGee! Cold, tidy whitey! No, Sawyer! No! Don't eat those! Yeah, it says instead. Mmm, yummy meat! See? <laughs> Num noms! Hamburger. No, Rosebud! No! This meat is infected with a monster virus! Look what happened to Sawyer after he ate it! <laughs> so this means Sawyer is acting this way? Because of me? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I'm such a bad cook! Making the other monsters sick <laughs> makes me so sick to my... Oh, she means it literally! Run! Hey, campers, what's on the hub hub? Ah! <laughs> oh, there goes my stomach and my lunch. <sighs> I'm glad it's all over. <laughs> it's okay, McGee. This means we did it. We changed the future. Ah, now your destiny is wide open. Long live the fun. See my stomach. Yeah, good times.
<laughs> ah. Oh, even my blisters have blisters. Gretch, can we stop for a quick snack break, please? Sure. Try my hike trail mix. It's mostly dried nuts and some dried nut shells. It's high in hike protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can really taste the protein. You want some, Squid? <laughs> no, thanks. I brought my own. You can really taste the protein. Yeah, time to get a move on. Squirt, the mute ape stays here. Mr. Elephant, are you okay? Poor guy. Probably needs some energy. Oh, really, Gretch? Hasn't that elephant suffered enough? <gasps> A real life circus elephant! Can this day get any better? <laughs> A real live circus elephant with an epic talent for farting? Awesome! Me and this farting elephant were made for each other. Hey, keep your trunk to yourself. Nope. Gretch, it likes Gretch instead of me? Huh. It must have gotten knocked in the head from the crash. Ah, uh, still no. If there's anyone who's supposed to be friend of Farting Circus Elephant, it's me. So let... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's called Floppy. What a great showbiz name. Shouldn't we at least try to find Floppy's owner? I guess so. But I can't stand to think of this majestic beast being forced to perform in a circus. <gasps> <laughs> What's that strange sound coming out of Gretch's face? No one ever finds out about the delightful giggling. Look at me. <laughs> we should probably take him back to Lake Bottom, where it's safe. <laughs> well, you know, safe is a relative term. <laughs> <laughs> Lima bean casserole had enough bean boost to get airborne. <laughs> One flying zombie coming up. Ah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I called some contacts from my old carny days, but no one's heard of any missing elephant. Two shaved orangutans and a bearded lady, but no elephant. I know how to cook the elephant, not how to feed them. We could save a lot of effort if I fix us all a nice plate of the tank schnitzel. <sighs> save yourself, Floppy. <sighs> Run like the wind that you constantly pass. <gasps> No one is claiming Floppy, so that means we can keep him? Yes! <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know, whatevs. There's no greater love than between an elephant and the one who cleans up after it. Um, I, I think you're gonna need a bigger shovel. Floppy, it's all set. I got your new identity and safe passage out of here. We gotta go now. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe just one more night. Fluffy, commence mission. Come. Camp <laughs> <laughs> Lake Bottom has such bad reception for evil schemes. how a farting elephant isn't my bestie. Whee! <laughs> Good news! I found another way to get you out of here. <laughs> I'll check back with you later! <laughs> Cut it out, Floppy! You're making me toot! <laughs> Floppy, you're the best elephant friend I never had. I love you. Ah! 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 If 
you think that was good, then hang on to your funny bones, campers! Because this next act is a real killer! Do this! Get off my head! Ha ha! I see you've already met my flatulating operational pachyderm, otherwise known as Floppy. Um, wouldn't that just spell fop? Not floppy? You! Okay! So the name's not great. You try finding the perfect handle for a farting elephant. Are you kidding me? There's Toots Magoots, uh, Baron Butt Burper, Captain Colon, Trunk Funk. Enough! I get it. Besides, it's time to explain my evil scheme. After staging a fake circus truck crash, I planted my farting warrior elephant for you to discover and fall in love with. Oh, so that's why I'm not Floppy's favorite. I knew it. Evil scheme animals are never my besties. Floppy? Is what he's saying true? This was all an evil scheme? <laughs> with Floppy by my side, I've already taken over Lake Bottom. You'll never get away with this. Wrong! Clowns plan out every little detail. You should have seen my intense Fart Animal Warrior training! <laughs> Finally, I'd found Floppy, the perfect pachyderm weapon. Too bad he's too dumb to perfect the ultimate secret fart command. Don't you ever call Floppy dumb! <laughs> Point. That elephant made a total moron out of me. I should have never trusted a farting elephant. <laughs> Time for your grand finale! Hey, Gretch, heads up! <laughs> well, now you know how I feel! Hey! Enough clowning around! And I don't mean that in a clown positive way. Get rid of these campers! Now! Detail. Oh well, I guess you never send in an elephant to do a clown's funny business! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
about the alien invasion start when I'm in my jam jams? Last level of alien camp invasion. High score, Thought Squad. That was just a video game? Wow, looks like Butt Squad's moving up in your high score battle, McGee. <laughs> He's so squatty after I nailed the ultimate high score yesterday. Ding, 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 ding. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Extra point bonus. Even higher ultimate high score. Butt squat. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I think I know a way you can even the score. The high score, that is. Extreme Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4? Still in perfect condition. I saw it back here the last time I helped Sawyer fix his collapsed ribs. Ooh, ribs. Lips off, squirt. But I love spare ribs. <laughs> okay, it is pretty old school, but I figured if anyone can get the high score on this baby, it's you. Right, McGee? 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 Oh, yeah. I've seen this before. McGee is so focused on getting the high score, he can't even speak uh -huh. or control his bodily functions. <laughs> so that's why my high score alarm went off. <laughs> McGee can waste his time on that lame old game, because I own this high score contest. I like so. Ow! Dang it! I gotta get to that lame old game! Aha! Caught ya! You're not gonna out high score me without a fight! No! My Cowabunga Blast bonus gone! That was my last surfer! Well, I guess it's my turn! <laughs> nuh uh, not without me or not! Game on! Chamomily. Locally sourced, triple steep. Game back on! What? <laughs> no! What are you two doing? No time to time. Beware. Yes. <laughs> you two have to stop. Some high scores aren't meant to be broken. Oh, great. Power failure. You two must have blown the camp generator. <laughs> ah, that's better. This fur isn't going to set and curl itself. <laughs> that's it. Game over. <laughs> Bottom anymore. Come on, butt squad, we gotta split! Relax, McGee. You just gotta know how to talk to the locals. Like so. Could you direct me to the rich part of the endless grid? <laughs> Oops. My dad will totally pay for that. Don't you see, butt spaz? It's just like the game! <laughs> Is how you do it, Butt Squad. Check it! Double points! In your face, McGee! Triple points! Hey, Butt Squad, I think we should stop zombie smashing for a minute and just reflect on the enormity of actually being inside a video game. Yeah. <gasps> Five times ultra bonus point zombie power apple! Squad, I totally called that zombie power apple first. Like I was gonna let you get the endless grid of doom high score. In your dreams. As if. Oh, seriously? Oh, it won't start. Ugh. We need to get that game running. Ah, 
Or who knows what's gonna happen to McGee? But what if McGee never comes back? Who will I swap undies with on undie trading day? Who? <gasps> what are you staring at, Squirt? Nothing, Gretch. You know, we really should get to know each other better. This is Extra Dream Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4. I am one zero one one zero one zero one. But you can call me one zero one one zero zero one. I am programmed to protect the high score. All who ch ch challenge the high score are digitized. Now let me introduce our first high score challenger, Sawyer. I did try to warn you, campers. Oh, why do I get the feeling this is kind of my fault? Oh, yeah, kind of totally your fault. Anyway, a program is a program. Easy, Gretch. Easy. Gretch! Gretch! Huh? You say something, Squirt! Now that's more like it. How are we supposed to get to know each other better with all that noise? Squirt, why don't we reconnect after I reconnect the power? Yes, now it's time for some Squirt Gretch quality reconnecting. <laughs> so, you do or don't want to swap undies then? Can you make up your mind, Gretch? <laughs> will be severed momentarily. While we wait, would you mind telling me what's been happening the last 30 years? Is this still a thing? Radical! Surf's up! Butt squat! Kick me right in the butt! Come on! What a beautiful moment! <laughs> hey -ya! Sawyer, time to use your head! Yeah. Ah, McGee, hands, er, uh, heads up! Yeah, right, so he can get the all-time zombie hand-catching high score? Uh. What's what? What's what? No! Just when I was starting to like that guy. <laughs> Emotions, McGee. You'll never get the high score with those things. What squat? But how? Obviously, my mad video game skills scored me an extra life. A duh. <gasps> Surf is up. Hmm. Let's show him a real high score. Thanks for the lift, campers. Whoa. Ew. Ew. Take a little load off. Stay a while, like uh, forever. You think you can outscore me? I was programmed to never lose. But how? Well, first we got the power back on. Oh, the things I go through for my Sasquatch beauty regimen. And let's just say I evened the score with this. Yeah, as far as besties go, Gretchen gets the high score. High score? All who challenge the high score are... Digitized! She has the new high score? Nah, uh -uh. not if I can help it. Campers, wait up! You're my new bestie now, Rib. Such a delicious friend.
nice gadget, Sawyer. Who knew you were a comet tracking zombie? Oh, I've been studying the sky for years. Comets, meteors, weather patterns, bird droppings. <laughs> Vertical fart cone. Very rare. <laughs> Hmm. I've studied lots of bird droppings, but never actual birds dropping. <laughs> I hope the comet didn't have anything to do with that. You're the expert. Aren't regular comets only visible at night? I never have seen a daytime comet before, Gretch, but I'm sure it's totally normal. Uh, uh, who's to say what's normal anyway? Forget everything I said. <laughs> Scratch your hair! Guys, I'm trying to watch... Scratch your voice! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why do we all look and sound like butt squat? Who cares? We gotta make it stop! <laughs> it's an improvement. Oh, uh, butt squad, is that you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were butt squad. A little squid ink should do the trick. Gretchen, don't do this! <laughs> I said it was supposed to be lunch! Oh, sorry, Rosebud. <laughs> Not you too! Not me too, what? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Ah, ah, oh, that's much better. Campus, there you are. I have to show you the strange readings, my Yeah, yeah, while you're tracking weather, we've been trying to get rid of all this butt squattiness. Uh, hey, how come you're not all squatty? <laughs> I guess there is an upside to being a rotting corpse. Listen, I tracked that comet all day. I don't think it's a comet at all. <laughs> Even my boogers are butt squatified! Guys, focus. Go on, Sawyer. Finish what you were explaining. Uh, thanks. I'm tracking another weather phenomenon with my scientific devices. I think it can reverse the effect. Yeah, yeah. When did science help anyone? Butt squat! What's going on? Why do we all look like you? Why? Silence! All will be explained, as I am the only one who can cure you. Welcome to my state-of-the-art Team Butt Squatifying facility. Here is where I, Jordan Butt Squad, will help Team Butt Squatify you. Because I'm cool like that. Yeah, you help us? Ha! Doubtful. Don't give in to your fears and mistrust, Gretch. They're symptoms of the Butt Squatifying Comet. <laughs> Here in the Deep Butt Squatifying Lab, Deep Butt Squatifiers work hard to Deep Butt Squatify the victims of the Butt Squatifying Comet, which reappears every 10 butt years. How do you think I ended up like this? Sure, it's too late for me, but I won't let others suffer, not even bottom smellers. Oh, Butt Squad, that's so. <gasps> Wedgie! Oh, no, no, what have I become? Me. That's who. Ah, better. Here, in the Deep Mud Squatifying Lab, you will learn to not be like me by someone who knows me best. Me. That's really important. <laughs> wow, total squatty move, Gretch. Whoa, you win, Butt Squat. Do what it takes to Deep Mud Squatify us and hurry. Oh, I will. I definitely will. <laughs> why am I buffing Butt Squat's toenails? Do not ask why you're buffing Butt Squat's toenails, Gretch. Ask how many more of Butt Squat's toenails you get to buff. Buffing Butt Squat's toenails is an honor. If that's an honor, I want it! <laughs> uh, give it back! Uh, yes, I see now. This is an honor. Yes, now feel the butt squat. 
be the butt squat. Smell the butt. Ooh, here comes my favorite part. <laughs> no! No wet Walters! They're so McGee! And if you want to truly be butt washed, you must rid yourself of all things McGee forever. Butt squad present! Butt Gee! Butt squad! And Greg Squat! Reporting for Butt Doty! Sir! <laughs> the butt washing is complete! I've created my own butt squad! Ha! I can't believe my butt squadifying satellite actually worked! Butt uh, squadifying satellite version 1.0. Warranty expiring right now. Butt squad! Move out and repair that uh, classified object! Stat! Yes, yes butt, butt sir! sir. That strange weather pattern should be rolling in any time now. Yeah. Hmm. Um. <gasps> that isn't a comet. I sense something squatty. Classified object located. Bot squad! Commence repair stat! <laughs> Bye-bye, classified object! But, Silent, it is now time to put my butt plan into action. The cadiddles have been at Sunny Smiles all day. When are they coming back with a cure for all the butt... Is this part of the cure? Phase one of butt plan complete! Staff subdued and ready for butt washing regimen! Hey, where's Sawyer? I don't worry about him. He's busy tracking comets and slight breezes. Then it's time for butt plan phase two. Sunny Smilify Link Bottom. Activate the Sunny Smilander. <laughs> oh, please get Sunny Smiles! <laughs> Not so fast, butt squad. Your diabutical plan is over. As the weather pattern I've been tracking should be arriving. Now. <laughs> oh. It's made of the collective stomach gases of a million tiny woodland creatures. Oh. That smells familiar. It's called the El Maginia. Wait a sec. non Botswana McGee was named after a giant fart wind? The El Maginia is a pleasant yet stinky wind. When it's boosted, it can blow anything away. Oh, what a stinky relief. We're almost deep on Squatified! The Sunny Smilander! We have to deactivate it before... Before I get to it, Layboids! No! The Butt Squad is too strong and squirt. Even the El Maginia can't blow it loose. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Not a making it rain and drawn! was a little McGee spit. <laughs> hey, butt squirt! Have a nice treat! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I've been McGee'd! Butt squirt again! Butt squirt again! Thank you. After everything, I butt squatted for you. And this is how you thank me? Typical bottom smellers! Oh, 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 oh. 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 Sorry, McGee, I 
I don't think I'm totally debut squatified yet. My Nana's special goulash. Me just a hint of hot, spicy spice. And a dash of burnt nose hair. Now to make this a taste test. <laughs> Nana's golden ladle. <laughs> Still as shiny as it was in the olden days. Awesome! Hot sauce, what a balloon! Oh, but Squad will never see it coming. <laughs> itchy! So very itchy! <sighs> Thanks, Rosebud. I think I'll hold on to these for a while and see how they do in the death bottle area. Are those my stick choppers? Uh, you could use these as chopsticks, but you'd have to eat around with swished fly goo. Good talk! On guard! Villain, or thou shalt feel it, the sting of Excaliburum. Ha! That maketh me pierce my pants not. Behold, Expatulaba. Hands off my stuff! Forsooth, yawn fun, be over it. Everyone with a stuff borrowing. Next, they'll want to borrow Nana's lucky golden ladle. <gasps> no! Nana's ladle! Where is it? Now, you stealers, make this a coughing up of all my stuff! <laughs> oh, yes, uh, that's mine. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, <laughs> I should put that on ice. Oh, don't need that! <laughs> Huh? I uh, need those back to cover my uh bottle area. Wait! Nana's ladle! It's not here! I want Nana's ladle! Give it back, or else I make this a lockdown. Ooh, lockdown? That sounds pretty cool. So that's what lockdown means. Uh. Uh huh? We're missing all the fun. Being in lockdown is the worst. And done. Check it out. A unicorn. Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted something more dangerous. I love it. Locked down for a ladle based crime I didn't commit. Worse, I really need to go number one. Where Rosebud put the John in this joint? Uh, you're not gonna like this. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> How am I supposed to hold this in for my entire sentence? Mm, you should probably skip lunch, too. Did someone say lunch? Lockdown lunch call. <laughs> Extra greasy. See how nice I treat you, even after you steal Nana's ladle? So, if you don't like the lockdown, all you have to do is return Nana's ladle and the fence will go kaput. Hmm. Okay, then. No freedom for you. Sawyer! No one knows the camp like you! You gotta know a way out! Come on! I can't hold it much longer! Sorry, McGee. Too busy. Ever since Rosebud activated the Lake Bottom Insta Prison Ultra Security feature, my chore list has gone through the prison fence roof. Pardon me, Sawyer, if you don't mind my asking. Why does Lake Bottom even have an Insta Prison Ultra Security feature in the first place? Oh, now that's a long, drawn-out, mildly interesting backstory. I'm glad you asked. It all started when... No time! We gotta break out of here and find that ladle! So I can finally whiz! <laughs> Fun 
crime-preventing fence, meat, hardest object on Earth. Rosebud's meatloaf. Sayonara, fencerita! Oh, Ooh, smells good. <laughs> That's it. Just a little more. Yes! We have squirt left off. Gotta get Gretchen's uniform washed before the gruel sets in. Hey, can we all try to keep this place tidy? Oh, not again! Sorry, Gretchen, but everyone knows electric eels work best on deep set gruel stage. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough movies to know I can dig under the fence with just a toothpick. Uh, well, the movies were never clear about how big the toothpick had to be. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Should have used less toothpicks. <laughs> Rosebud, we don't have your ladle. You can't deprive us of precious toilets. Or keep us stuck under the hot sun for the rest of our lives. Hmm. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> My stomach. Quiet in there. We don't have a place to poop. Remember? Lights out. <sighs> Prison yard fresh. Sawyer, we've tried everything. We need to get out of here now. And you gotta help us, please. But McGee, I can't possibly think about prison breaks until that filthy sink is taken care of. Today was Shoulders Day. Sink taken care of. Come on, campers, let's blow this joint. Uh, quick question. Won't Rosebud totally notice that we're gone? Don't worry about it. I got a guy working on the inside. Oh, good night, McGee. Good night, Gretch. Oh, you're my best pal, Squirt. Oh, yes, and I like you too, McGee. Sounds believable. Uh, I'm too bulked up to fit. Bad evil, bad. Ah! Uh, uh, oh, stop! This pipe is. Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. The lake bottom sewers. That must mean we're directly under the lake bottom latrines. Oh, please. Hurry, campers! The latrine could flood these pipes any second! I said, please don't say like. Oh, I recognize this. When I had the Insta Prison installed, it came with a jailbreak preventing monster. <gasps> Sawyer! Why would you do that? That's another long drawn out monster. Still no time! We gotta get out of here. Hurry, the coast looks clear. No monsters this way! Pointy! Moist! Oh. Uvula? <laughs> At least I don't have to go number one anymore! Uh, McGee! Hot sauce! Borrowing Rosebud stuff would save the day and... Dear Rosebud's diary, you'll never believe what I saw today. Oh, look! The moon! Follow me to freedom! Freedom! Yeah, that's some terrible smelling freedom you found here, Gretch. <laughs> Find that ladle. Any ideas? Uh uh. Nada. Nope. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe.
Maybe I tickle you till you tell me where it is. Rosebud, it was just a ladle! Just a ladle? There's nothing like its beauty. Its golden glow, its frizzy hair holding up powers. My Nana can't get herself. <clears throat> Remember, I stuck it up there after someone took my hair defrizzing stick choppers. <laughs> I'm sorry for accusing you all. I'm such a silly villain. <laughs> well, at least no harm done. Huh? No, no, I'm McGee. No, I'm Grinch. No, I'm everyone. <laughs> as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it. Here comes the boom boom. Hold on to all your butts. Already on it. Yeah. Let's get this party erupted. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Oh, man, I sort of love a letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to boom. <gasps> Intense? Huh? Wow! The Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, that, that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's Jill's our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when crime is too far away to see, it's time, time to get some binoculars! binoculars. Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course, Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are Squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head. Spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. Smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp. So, today? Oh. Mickey, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. Okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. Me and Squirt live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry, personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa. Nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt in Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff? For once. Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't 
didn't know you better, I think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. <laughs> Did someone call for parent participation? Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm patented by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! Oh, man. Best spin kick inflicted in turtle rupture ever. That's it. I'm so out of here. <laughs> What's with Gretchikins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud 5. <coughs> Gretchy Wetchy, is that you? <coughs> Wait! Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything? I'm your biggest fan! <coughs> Okay, this is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson eyeball crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson glaring twist, too! <laughs> Guys, stop! Have you seen Armand? You know how fan crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gritcher's pants. Oh, don't worry. The Gritchersons can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Gretz's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible. Did they played every kind of hero that's ever existed? That's it. Squirt! They must be researching roles for a movie! Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> You've been accessorized! <laughs> Come on, Squirt! Those two acting geniuses are grinchersoning into the hilt, and we're missing it! Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Gritchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Gritcherson larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Gritchersons' fear snot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> when all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritchopedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, don't eat pineapple, and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> Ran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. <laughs> well, don't you want any of my famous stone soup? <laughs> Zombie! I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchikins! Gretchikins! Gretchikins has come to save us! Gretchikins! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared? But... But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! Ah, <sighs> guess it's up to old Gretchikins to set the story straight again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stop double! <laughs> mm. 
You knew? This whole time? Sure. You sent stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Scorch, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any- <laughs> Oh, this is so going in the scrapbook! Propulsion was too good to be true. Ah, doesn't matter, because from now on, McGee is rocking only undies. <laughs> Remember, Campbells, dancing isn't pretty if your booty isn't sweaty. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. And a two, uh, uh, uh. All the way down to the mustard stain. Oh, stage. man. This is a new McGee low. Oh, lighten up, Gretch. Didn't you know? Undies only is so hot right now. But, McGee, your butt might catch a cold. Or the butt flu. The butt flu, McGee! The butt flu! It came to me in a dream, Squirt, and it changed my life. I've never felt so free and airy. Well, you sold me. Now, the only question is, which pair should I only wear first? What do you think? Oh, yes. Definitely the smiling face pair. They're so happy. This is going to turn pandemic. we got to get clothes on the heat. Stat! <laughs> well, the clothes! <laughs> no, 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 no! Uh, oh, formal undies. Guys, I always wanted a surprise party and just recently wanted an undies-only surprise party. Undies-only conga. Undies only conga, 
I'm so free and... It's okay, Squirt. It's for Mickey's own good. Once he sees other people's reactions to his undies only madness, he'll see the light. Undies only conga! <laughs> What's going on out here? <gasps> oh, Mickey's in his undies, everyone! <laughs> Isn't that so totally like him to keep this whole undies only thing to himself? Not gonna happen. Undies only is so hot right now. I knew it'd be free and airy, but I never imagined it'd be this free and airy. Undies only for everyone! Undies only conga! Undies only conga! Wait, I got it, Gretch. What if we just hide McGee's undies? Yeah, just think about that for a sec. Ah! Oh, I'll never get that visual out of my head! Right. But maybe there is a way to get into McGee's head. So, you need a way to get into McGee's head, huh? I got just the thing. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Ha-ha! My dream entering armception device. How exciting! What's it do? This baby will get you into McGee's dreamland. It's perfectly safe. Um, that is, unless you get hurt in there. If that happens, you get hurt for real. It doesn't sound perfectly safe to me. Let's do this. I'll have you campers in McGee's dream in a jiffy. Ew! Let's get this scheme over with already. If I don't get out of here soon, I will never get the lake bottom stank out of my hair. Do we really have to bring Susie along, Gretch? She terrifies me. I don't want her here either. But no one knows Mickey better. Besides, we all want the same thing. Get in, get close on Mickey, and get out. And no lollygagging. One more thing. Don't let him know he's dreaming, or it breaks the whole quantum dream continuum thingy, and you'll be stuck in there forever. Got it. Okay. Be safe, campers. Wait, forever what? <gasps> wow! McGee's Dreamland, where all the dream undies go to dream. Clothes? You don't need clothes in Undies Only Land. That's what Senor Waste Bandamundo always says. Ew! McGee's Dreamland is gross. Can we just go? Shh, we've got to stick to the plan. The Thrice Daily Undies Parade is starting. <laughs> I'm so excited. On Andy's only day? No. Uh, 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 uh. Let Senor Waste Bendamundo take care of that! Andy's Cannon Star! <laughs> oh, out of my way! I love free giveaways. Mickey, you gotta get dressed! Wearing only Andy's is making everyone's life miserable! Uh, Grinch, around here everyone calls me Senor Waste Bendamundo. I am not calling you Senor Waste Bendamundo. Now listen to me, Mr. Sorry, Grinch, Andy's in my ears. I can't hear you. Now let's party! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Gretchen. This plan has become a total nightmare! Nightmare? That's it, Susie! The only way to stop this dream is to turn it into a terrifying anti undies nightmare. If we make Mickey fear his undies, he'll never want to wear only them again. Gretch, you had me a terrifying anti undies nightmare. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, an undies only rainbow, Gretch? Oh, I can't wait to see it. Just a few more steps. I promise you won't believe your eyes. <gasps> Wonderware! Oh, everything is so beautiful here. Oh, you should see it when the begonias bloom. Hundy-tastic. <sighs> oh, I wish I could see that. <sighs> Look at me! I'm a big undia! <gasps> Wit green messing around, Squirt! If you keep shape-shifting, McGee will figure out this is all a dream and we'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> Susie Silla! Uh, the name is Senor Waistbandamundo. <laughs> oh, no! 
Banana! <laughs> this is not what we agreed on. My transform into a nightmare Susie dragon plan just felt better. <gasps> Ew, not the Andes! <laughs> <laughs> yep, Susie terrifies me! Oh, I wish I was in one of my Andes only parades right now. Hey, Andes boy, we are not to blame. These are to blame. Why? Ah! Ah! Break the cozy hold these have on you, McGee, by defeating Susie. Defeat her? In just these? Yeah, I've got an idea about that. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mind loaning McGee my clothes. I don't. But I do wish she didn't dream about itchy bottom ivy so much. It's just so itchy on my bottom. Ah! Susie Silla! You can burn our undies, but we'll just make new, better, stretchier undies. For there is nothing to undie but undie itself. Undie! undie. Forget about your undies and go! Gotcha. Oh, I love being a Susie Silla! <laughs> we weren't supposed to get hurt, remember? No! You can roast my undies, but not my friends! <laughs> You're tickling! <laughs> Gotta get Susie Zilla to stop! But how? How? Oh, save us, great warrior! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, Undies! <laughs> undies are the worst nightmare! <laughs> Should I say, ma'am? It was the last costume left. Pretty. Anyways, I love Western days. I mean, I reckon Western days are the best. Time's a wasting, cowpokes. <laughs> Yeehaw! We're not really going to poke any cows, are we? Giddy up! Ah! Wasn't part of my job description. Woo! I don't get paid enough for this. Oh yeah! Oops. And here's a song I wrote when I was just a wee buckaroo. Sorry, beans make my bum rumble. Ah, do me a favor and point your rumble bum the other way. Cool. Thanks for the tip, Gretch. Uh, well, it's been a good old West day, but now it's time for bed. Not so fast, Mickey. It is your turn to take the garbage to the trash shed. Ah, uh, how far is the trash shed? Not so far. Oh, and remember, make sure you lock it up. We don't want raccoons. 
What's the big deal? Fuzzy tails, little robber masks. Raccoons are like the cutest bandits ever. That may be true where you are from, but this is Camp Lake Bottom. And the raccoons that live in these woods are ferocious bandits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'll lock up the trash. Good. <laughs> oh, I gotta be getting close by now. Oh, man, this is gonna take about a thousand million years. Or I could just finish it up in the morning. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah, right. Ferocious raccoons. <laughs> Mickey, you remember to lock up the trash? Yes, I remember to lock up the trash. And I'll do it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm guessing McGee happened. Uh, so, McGee, is there something you'd like to tell me? You have lovely eyes when you're angry? Oh, why, thank you. Ah! Maybe something about the garbage? Oh, that! Funny story. That bag was huge and the mountain was huger. My tummy hurt and the dog ate my homework. And I... Look, that's the eyebrow. The eyebrow never lies. It's so big. If the garbage stays in the camp, the raccoons will find it, and they will keep coming back. Okay, okay, my bad. I'll clean it up. Much obliged for the help, partners. No problem. Oh, and by the way, the whole cowboy talk thing totally not getting annoying yet. It's getting dark, so I'll stash the trash in the mess hall till morning. <laughs> Oh, darn, I've torn my dress. All done. Probably just really big squirrels. Huh? <gasps> ah! Black Patch. Hello, Rosebud. I knew that one day you'd finally make a mistake and I'd sniff you out. We don't want any trouble. Why don't you go find another camp to terrorize? <laughs> Even it's garbage you're looking for. I hear that Camp Sunny Smiles has excellent trash. I believe the Garbage Gazette called it putrid and vomit-inducing. <laughs> yeah, I hate just hanging around. Keep the dirty clothes off our campus! <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch to the rescue! <laughs> Come on, fellas. Let's be gentlemen about this. Oh, my word. <laughs> They're eating all the food in the kitchen! <laughs> See you tomorrow night. <laughs> New camp rule. Everyone must be inside before the sun goes down. No fair. Way to go, McGee. Dag nabbit. There's not much point to summer vacation. Even you can't stay up past your bedtime, shucks. Maybe they won't even come back. <laughs> You're safe for now. Black Patch goes away when the sun comes up. What gives? A long time ago, I used to feed the little raccoons the table scraps. Oh, how they loved my cooking, oh, just like you all do. <coughs> then one day, I accidentally mixed some military-grade plutonium into my cupcakes. And when the raccoons ate the scraps, boom! They turned into the foul beasts of the nether regions. Don't blame yourself, Rosebud. That could happen to anyone. I'm hungry. What are we going to do without food? And how am I going to keep my boyish figure? I'll wither away. Don't worry, compadre. We can eat these here red pickle things. McGee! What? 
not pickles, no, my funny-looking friend. The world's hottest peppers! One bite will set your insides on fire. But there's nothing left to eat. Ah, what do you mean, nothing? Who wants zombie soup? Mmm, zesty. <coughs> well, up there, cook lady. I've had it up to my britches with those low-down bandits. Now listen up, gang. This here camp is ours, and I aim to defend it. I'm the one who got us into this mess. I'm the one that aims to fix it. Now who's with me? Or we can try the zombie soup. <laughs> That's more like it. I say it's high time we stand up to Black Patch and his gang and take our camp back. Sounds good, but how? With the one thing they didn't eat. Be careful, McGee. These peppers will burn you blacker than the campfire marshmallow. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what I'm accounting on. <laughs> Did everybody in position? <laughs> Come and get it, garbage breath. I hope you're cooking this up something real. Special. Me and the boys is hungry. Well, look here, boys. The little hombre is all by his lonesome. Sizes and everything, you overgrown garbage gobbler. Okay, tough guy. Now you get it. Oh, watch out, boys. He got a banana. <laughs> <laughs> this banana's gonna make you split. <laughs> <laughs> now! Ambush! Yikes! <laughs> okay, tough guy. Now you get it. Not if you get it. Looks like McGee's in trouble. Time for Plan B. Plan B? We will have to do some thinking to come up with a Plan B. Hmm. Oh. I'm out of ammo. Help! I'm coming, McGee! <laughs> <laughs> about to heat up! Yeah! Mm. Mm, not bad. Catch you around these here parts again. Well, you did it, Sheriff. Nah, we all done did it. And is this Western talk all done did too? Yeah, I reckon so. That's right, cause tomorrow's space day! Becca 
on your side of the lake. You're dealing with the butt border patrol now. Ah! That's it. You got an attitude problem, tentacle boy. Lucky I don't run you in. Huh? That's littering. Consider this a warning. You better obey my laws or you'll be in big trouble, fish stick. Well, that takes care of that. Huh? Whoa! You don't scare me, you freak from beneath. Oh. for super suction. <laughs> this face has never been cleaner. Time for a little reverse suction. Maybe too much power for a vacuum, but not for a kick butt. Flyboard! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 Okay, who put this bad boy here? Butt Patrol! Big Nimrod, you are officially trespassing in Sunny Smiles' waters. Uh, this is Lake Bottom's swim area. Yeah, butt snitch, you don't own the whole lake. This fence says I do. Got you for trespassing, damaging property, and for public lameness. But I'll go easy on you this time. Just stay on your side, and we won't have a problem. Oh, this side or this side? <laughs> How about this side? This? Don't make me lock you up, McGee! <laughs> 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 Keep that Slimosaurus away from me! It tried to eat my boat this morning! Whoa! Slimy doesn't eat junk food! And then it stole my new hat! Slimy, did you attack Officer Buttsplat's boat and steal his hat? Then you know what to do. Ah. <laughs> You've been warned. Next time I see that stinky leech, it's off to the slug pound. Slug pound! Butt Squad asked for it. It's time to take our pranking to a whole new level, Slimy. Maybe Slimy should stay away from Butt Squad for a couple of days. Oh, relax. He's just having fun. The more fun Slimy has messing with Butt Squad, the better. So come on, Slimy. Let's get messing. But Border Patrol report. No sign of the bottom sneakers and their mucusy accomplice, but it's only a matter of time. And if I see them in my waters, they're gonna get some of this. And this. And this. Sh sh sharks? Get away! Shoo! Help! <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, you guys. You could have gotten yourselves blasted. This thing is totally dangerous. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> that squid linquin better watch out. Actually, you better watch out. Oh, yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that. <laughs> That goon's got a date with the deep fryer. Uh, I 
I showed that jumbo calamari who's boss. Miles. Oh, Slimy's probably pranking Budwine and we're missing it! Come on! Save a wedgie for me, Slimy! <gasps> Call off your rabbit squid! <laughs> Slimy? No way! <laughs> See? Caught it red-handed! Er, red tentacles! You know what I mean. Oh, I turned our lake monster into a monster lake monster. Easy, Slimy. You're taking it too far. Slimy would never do something like that. Right, McGee? First the hat, then those dents, and only something real big could have done that to the dog. <laughs> I'll teach you by turning your slimy pal into a sushi dinner. Say sayonara, tentacle breath. Get away! Mess with the butt patrol! <laughs> I can't believe Slimy is guilty! Guilty or not, <laughs> no one's getting Slimy on my watch! Ha! Even Magoo knows you're guilty! <laughs> Who called the elevator? You didn't tell me your slime thing is in a gang! <laughs> so it was an out of control rampaging lake monster! Just not our out of control rampaging lake monster. Then that means. Slimy is innocent! Never doubted it for a second. Of course you didn't, McGee. We're close where I can see them, Crab Breath. Ah! I don't need to see them that close. Ah! 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 Whoa! Ow! Officer down. while you free Slimy. Sorry I ever doubted you, Slimy. You forgive me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pal. Now let's go kick some crap butt! Bad, bad, bad! Oh, that's Slimy! What's happening? That's way too quiet! Slimy? Yeah, Slimy! Surf and turf that crusty crab! Yeah, yeah, your mutant calamari saved the day and stuff, but it shouldn't be off its leash. Huh? Ah! Extreme obnoxiousness, unlicensed boomerang, being a butthead, as if... You forgot trespassing on Camp Lake Bottom's side of the lake. Hey, put me down! See ya, butt squid. <laughs> Slimy, no more pranking. Until tomorrow. <laughs>
Take it from the Prank King. This will be the greatest prank ever pulled on Butt Squad and his Camp Sunny Smileys. And we're doing it Lake Bottom style. Now remember, we don't want to set off any alarms. McGee! Eat mud, bottom dwellers! Incoming! Time to surrender, don't you think? I will never surrender! <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide! Over here, Spark! <laughs> oh, you! Hey, those are private! Okay! Okay! We surrender already! Time for a plan B. <laughs> McGee! Take a good whip, Butt Squad! That's the sweet stink of victory for Camp Lake Bottom! We will have our revenge! Oh, man, Squirt! Stinky Gitch totally saved the day! Gitch, you were so brave! Yes, you were, Gitch! Yes, you were! That is disturbing on so many levels. Here we are, Camp Lake Bottom. Home sweet, creepy, monster-filled home. <laughs> you know, Sawyer, normal counselors don't go around waving chainsaws. Sorry, campers. We've been tracking a seriously noxious stink. I'll never get the odor out of my fur. This stink cleanings are off the scale. We must decontaminate the under <laughs> Cheer up, Squirt. Once your butt huggers are clean, you can start over and make some brand new stank. <laughs> You've never washed your undies? That's gross, even for boys. Ode to a pair of skeevy skivvies. A royal reek. A putrid. Just wash them already. Might as well do a full load while I'm at it. <laughs> a little toxic cleanser. Are seriously tough stains. Uh, Squirt, did your underwear used to glow? <laughs> You're still yucky. Gitchy. when it's hot out and I get this itchy rash. Told you I'd get revenge! Butt squat! Wait till you see your precious Camp Lake Bottom covered in toilet paper! Nobody messes. <laughs> How much ammo you got? Four rounds, but it's triple ply. We're gonna need every roll! Never wear 
underpants again! <laughs> we have got to get those undies back on that butt. Uh-huh. Squirt, I think I know how to get you back in your butt huggers. <gasps> really? You're a true pal, <laughs> McGee! Hello? Uh, a little help here, please? <laughs> <laughs> Gitchy is gone. You must be my new best friend. <laughs> gotcha, Gitchy. Now let's get him to Rosebud. <gasps> you said I'd get Gitchy back. I'm sorry I used you as bait, Squirt. Honest. <laughs> Look on the bright side, Squirt. Your tragic loss has inspired an interpretive dance. <laughs> now time to clean the mean out of Squirt's git. Oh, I've seen this movie. This is the part where we're torn to shreds. <laughs> Glad to see you. Thanks, campers. Zombies don't hear that enough. We're doomed! Don't worry! These soccer shots are locked and loaded with super concentrated detergent! Sweet! Now let's tear these clothes on you back flap! <laughs> Never saw that one coming. Uh, maybe we can talk about this over a cup of fabric softener? You want a piece of me? Try a little static electricity! Josh! And so is Squirt. <laughs> he must have slipped out during intermission. The Gitch is going down. Don't worry, Gitchy. We'll run away where no one can find us, little buddy. But first, I gotta tinkle. I can't let you do that, Squirt. You can't tell me what I can and can't tinkle, ex-friend. Not that. That! <laughs> bad, but we really do want to help you. It's not Gitchy's fault, McGee. You're trying to wash away years of beautiful, stain-filled memories. <laughs> Revenge! <gasps> <laughs> he gave up a lifetime of stains. For you, McGee. <laughs> Maybe not. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, Squirt. <gasps>
You know, the smell kind of grows on you. Okay, guys, let's put McGee out of our misery. Lake Bottom? The ultimate view of Camp Lake Bottom. And now, snack time. What's on the menu, Squirt? Rosebuds, wormaroni, and cheese sandwiches. Would you like some too, little fly? <laughs> Come on, Gretch, get a shot for my mom. Say please. Please! Don't forget me, bottom dwellers. <laughs> Squat! What took you so long, McGee? Oh, right. You don't have jetpacks at Camp Loser Bottom. Hey, Butt Squat! Want a snack? Then eat this! Yeah! Get out of my face, guys! Looks like he's not very hungry. <laughs> Thank you. I hate worse than spider webs are actual spiders. Oh, really? Buzzy! <laughs> Whoa! Gross just got grosser. Sorry about your little fly friend, Squirt. That spider slurped up Buzz's insides like a juice box. Cool! I'm gonna call you Webster. No! No way, Squirt! I am not sharing our cabin with that overgrown hairball! What's the matter, McGee? Afraid of a little spider? That spider is not little! <laughs> Cute! He's kissing you! Ah! My favorite finger! Stop! You're scaring Webster! <laughs> ah! Get it off! Get it off! Get back here, McGee. I'm not done bugging you. Huh? Ow. You're such a baby about spiders. Am not. The only good spider is a squish spider. Ah, get it off! See? He likes you. Uh, I don't think this is a sign of affection. Come on, Daddy. Not good. If Rosebud finds your spider, she'll cook it. The only thing worse than having a spider as a pet is having to eat one. <laughs> Sorry, Squirt, but we gotta take Webster home. But first, let's get some lunch. <laughs> Before I lose mine. You stay, boy. An extra special treat today. French flies. Oh, oh silly me. Forgot the ketchup. Mm. Webster! What are you guys doing? Uh, just playing a game of hide the ball. Oh, I love that game. Let's play. Okay. <laughs> Cheated. Uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> What's wrong, McGee? You got the ants in your pants? <laughs> Not exactly. He's just hungry. Have a fly, McGee. Uh... 
Mm. Yummy! Oh, you like them. The secret is I double fry them. <laughs> Spider on my leg! <laughs> you hurt Webster's feelings, McGee. Webster spits acid? Suddenly the webs don't seem so bad. So, I'm thinking a complete makeover for the campus cabin. Hmm. How about full body hair dryers? Yeah, you're right, maybe not. Perhaps we could dig up some coffins for closets. Well, that's right. Leave everything to the Sasquatch. Webster better not be on my bed. I think we have a spider problem. Ah! Hey, spider! Ah! Ah! You, you don't want to eat me. I taste like underwear. Dirty underwear. Oh. Ah! What's wrong? Are you missing one of your babies? <laughs> well, Eight Eyes, I didn't take your baby. But I bet I know who did. Follow me. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you, McGee. Bad Webster, don't make me come up there. Oh, that's it, Webface. No one messes with our counselors. <laughs> it's time to get a taste of McGee. I came not with the spider webs! Mickey, get a grip! Sawyer and Armand need us! <laughs> yes, enough chit chat! Sasquatch and zombie in peril here! You're right, Gret! I've got this! Yes. Kidding, that worked? Hiss! Hiss! Hey, Sawyer, Hiss! what do you think of spider silk Hiss! for the curtains? Ooh, I like it. And the dead flies will blend in with the rest of the room. Oh, yeah? Now who's scared of who? <laughs> what? First flies and now spiders? Okay, Arachnids, this is war! <laughs> I think I'll make Weberoni for dinner. <laughs> Time to attack, Creepazoid! <laughs> Not me! McGee! McGee! That's right, Mama! They have your baby! Go get him, ugly! Aw, oh, don't cry, Webster. Did the mean McGee hurt your feelings? <laughs> My little spider phobia just turned into a big spider phobia! <laughs> oh, hi! You must be Webster's mommy. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. Squirt! I'm coming! <laughs> this stuff is gross. That's it! Let my friends go, you eight-legged freakazoid! <laughs> <laughs> How do you like Mama, McGee? <laughs> I don't want to be a juice box. <laughs> Listen. You don't like me, and I don't like you, but we both like Squirt. So let's spider up, okay? Uh, ew, I'm good. Yes! Spider McGee to the rescue! And they call me dramatic. Who's the big mama now? And I have the perfect snack! Come and get 
It's your yummy French flies! <laughs> oh, stop! Stop! Oh, <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> Ouch! Nice work, McGee. Caught you, spiders. Prepare for squashing! <gasps> Look at that! No one can resist my French flies. <laughs> Goodbye, pesky fly! I will have ribbons! Hi, bye, little Webster. Uncle Squirt's gonna miss you, buddy. Uncle McGee won't. He's had enough spiders to last a lifetime. Uh-oh. Oh, now that's a shot for your mom. Real funny, Gretchen. Real funny. <laughs> At least we weren't playing hungered hippos. <laughs> uh, does that sound like a sobbing Sasquatch? Slimy. <laughs> What's wrong, Armand? <sighs> My play, Weep Neath the Willow, Little Bigfoot, has been rejected. Oh. But you can't give up after one rejection. One? Try hundreds. Ouch! The time has come for me to hide my genius in the wilderness forever! Oh. Double ouch! Uh -huh. You can't go, because we're going to put on your play right here at Camp Lake Bottom, and that's a promise! Did someone say play? Hilarious! The Bottom Dwellers are putting on a show! If you are putting on a play, then you need star power! Even go to Camp Lake Bottom. McGee, tell her. Sorry, Suze. Gretchen's right. Bottom dwellers only. Oh! You haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, and you haven't seen the last of me. Okay, people. Audition time. Oh, thank you, McGee. Okay, who's up first? Helen's coming through. <clears throat> Like we said, bottom dwellers only. I could totally be in your bogus play if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Well, that works out perfectly then, doesn't it? Next! Ahem. <coughs> Croak. And the part of the cow frog goes to... The frog. Sorry, Squirt. The best frog won, Kevin. Next! I'd be way better than the frog. You have to let me audition, baby bruv, or else. <laughs> I'll crush you! Let's take it from the top, shall we? I am! How about the bottom? You can't keep me out of this way! Just watch me. All right, McGee, stop begging. I'll be in your play. Nope. Yes. No. Pretty please. No way. Please! Uh, I think no. <laughs> Next! I can't believe 
believe it! I did it! <laughs> okay, Gretch, let's take it from the top. This play is about to fall! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Say hello to our star! Stage. Gretchen, stall my rule. Do something, butt squat. Like what? Whenever there's a. Armand, are you all right? Just a little theatrical mishap. <laughs> and it won't be the last. Check it out. I'm a pirate. Arr! Before we start rehearsal, I just want to wish you all good luck. Never say good, you know what, in the theater. It calls down a curse that could destroy the whole play. Are you kidding? Just by saying good luck. Just trust me on this, or we'll face an evil fury you couldn't imagine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll show McGee I can light up the stage. Guess I better not say good luck. Good luck, good luck! Prepare yourselves for an electrifying performance! <laughs> When he's right, he's right! I can't wait till opening night. My acting career is toast. <laughs> this play is going down! Excuse me, Heckler coming through. Uh, buddy, those tomatoes are for throwing, not for eating. Time to make a diluted Sasquatch's dream come true. Everybody get around. Never whistle in the theater. That too calls down a curse that could destroy the whole play. Seriously? Okay, what else shouldn't I do? No burping and never ever scratch your butt. <laughs> so if I whistle, the whole play will be destroyed. And careful not to... And no scratching my butt! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be good! Hey, you! What is this costume made of? Only the finest material my armpits could produce. <laughs> is this supposed to be in the play? Prepare for your doom, baby bruv. I just wanted to say good luck on your opening night. Are you okay? She's not your sister anymore, McGee. She's a dark harridan of the underworld. Yep, that sounds like Susie. I will destroy all who deny me my rightful role. You're gonna be sorry. It is not worth endangering the camp for my play. It's time to end the dream. Forever. <laughs> Why? Just because McGee's sister is totally possessed and out to destroy us? Pretty much. <laughs> a promise is a promise! And I'm gonna keep it. Get on with the play, and I'll take care of the Princess of Darkness. Hi, little Bigfoot. Must journey to the dark side. My body says throw it, but poor little Bigfoot is so sad. Oh. Fear not, little Bigfoot. Your hairy squatch mother has brought you a handsome cow frog. Cow frog? Seriously? Am I the only one who read this play? <laughs> oh, that cow frog's really good. <laughs> How dare you defy me? You are so going to get it, baby brother. I've got a date with the diva. It's all yours, Armand. 
to croak or not to croak. Ah! No. Honest shows, I only did this play to help out our bond. Too bad, so sad, baby bruv. Now I'm going to destroy your pathetic camp and your lame play. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Look upon your doom! <laughs> star and you still could be right Gretchen fine I can live with being an understudy if I get to you know live yes! <laughs> fans are waiting sing Susie sing yes! no no Squad, and there are two T's in butt. Ah, even an evil curse is no match for Susie's terrible singing. Oh, McGee, thank you. Opening night was everything I ever dreamed of. Good, because it's also closing night. <laughs> Congratulations on your purchase of a Digmaster 4000. Caution. Forget the instructions. I've dug thousands of fire pits. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> this is going to be the best beast feast in Lake Bottom history. Ow! Ow! When the warmest. I can't wait to celebrate Beast Feast. Beast Feast is awesome. I love Beast Feast. What's Beast Feast? You don't know what Beast Feast is? I, uh, <laughs> tell him, Gretch. Mm, you got me, Armand. Uh, <laughs> the origin of Beast Feast. Uh, well, the legend is long and clouded in the mists of time. Right. You don't know either. Who cares? More firewood! <laughs> <laughs> You call this stacking wood? Ooh, a talking log! <laughs> can we keep him? Can we keep him, please? Can, can I knit him a hat? Can I knit him a rocket? Hi, I'm McGee. This is Gretchen. That's Squirt Sawyer and I'm on. Greetings! I knit you socks for hey. your old man feet! I ain't deaf, you squeaker. Sorry you were almost kindling. Back when I was a bottom dweller, we got used for firewood pretty much every day, and no one complained. You were a bottom dweller? That's right. Who's the name? I got lake bottom deep in my bones, along with the rheumatiz. These bones could use a hand out of this fire pit. Looks like you young'uns are prepping for Beast Feast. Oh, those were the good old days. You were at an actual Beast Feast before? Awesome! Yep, back in the day it was BYOBB. Bring your own beast buddy. This year's me and Lou. Except my old buddy Lou's been missing for years. Hmm. We'll help you find him, right, guys? Sure we can. Squirt here is a regular bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> help from two kids and an awkward dog boy? That'll be the day. But the, hey, let go! Go, dang, fines! <sighs> Guess today is the day. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for the help, little lady. Anytime. What do you say we help you find Lou now? Oh, this here collar used to belong to Lou. You think your awkward dog boy can track this? <laughs> You betcha. Find the scent. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Good boy. Oh! <laughs> We're coming for you, Lou. <laughs> well, brush my dentures. 
You found our old sleeping quarters. Uh, it's not much of a cabin, is it? In my day, we didn't need no fancy cabins, and no one complained. Wait, uh, we all complained. But no one complained about the complaining. It smells like burnt toast. All I'm getting is pure leg bottom history. Oh, wait, and some dirty undies. Uh, the undies is me. History? What's with the burn marks? Those must have been on account of Lou. That's a sure sign he's been here. He always was the rowdy one. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you guys had a blast. Oh, you got something, boy? <laughs> Come on, campers. Hey, two for two. Good boy. <laughs> you found our old watering hole. It ain't changed a bit. Oh, pretty. Oh, awesome. <laughs> as long as you don't breathe. Stinky goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Lou used to do the same thing. <laughs> Look here. Those are fresh burn marks. Lou must have been here, too. This was our leaping hot lizard rock. Your leaping hot what? Our leaping hot lizard rock. See? Of course, I forgot how to swim. <laughs> Old man overboard! <gasps> Oh, sorry, I didn't ask for no help. I asked for... Uh, uh, was it oatmeal? <laughs> Fine. I suppose if I did ask for help, I should probably say thanks. Ah, forget about it. We're all bottom dwellers, right? Why don't we get you back to the fire to warm up? Warm up? We're already hot on Lou's trail. Come on, Sniffer. <laughs> You sure this is the right way? Your hound sure knows his nose. Now, if I'm not mistaken, just up this here hill is where I first found Lou. Ah, just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey, does anybody want to sing a camp song? That ain't a bad idea. Bottom dwellers, take the cake. Doo da, doo da. Don't poke your toe in the toxic lake. Oh, doo da day. Built-in airbag saved me from that fall. Anytime. <laughs> and you found the spot where we used to play for hours. Let me guess, Lou burnt it. <laughs> Come on, Bo, try for old time's sake. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> 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 I haven't had this much fun since the old days with Lou. I'm well, sorry we couldn't find your best beast buddy for you. I appreciate it, but I found some new best friends at least. <laughs> That's the lake bottom spear. <laughs> oh. What was that? I forgot I had this. Lou's favorite toy. Come on, Bo. You're officially our guest at Beast Feast. Yeah! Good news, guys. Poe's joining us for Beast Feast. Perfect timing. Ten seconds to midnight and we just finished the fire pit. Anybody got a match? Thanks for having me, kids. But I sure do wish Lou was here. Aw, oh, don't be down, Poe. Lou's here in spirit. Here's to friends old and new. And the best Beast Feast ever! <laughs> Shut my gob. Lou sure got big. That's Lou. Easy, boy. Easy. Uh-oh. I feel so exposed. No, 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 not mine! Yours! <laughs> Squirt, what are you doing? Sorry, I kind of got caught in the moment! Right! Go right! Yeah. I think we lost him. <laughs> Exceedingly good at this. Right!
campers. We tried. That's okay. Mom always said it would end like this. <laughs> Lou, you silly beast. <laughs> Play a little rough with our friends, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember me, Lou? It's me, Poe. <laughs> oh, I miss you too, old best buddy, old pal. <laughs> you kids okay? Oh, Lou can get a little rowdy. Uh, we love rowdy. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Now, what do you say we kick this here beast feast bonfire into overdrive? The problem is, we still need a match. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got Lou. You don't need any matches. Right, Lou? <laughs> I'm already planning for next year's Bring Your Own Best Beast Feast. I'm gonna bring a frogalope. I'm gonna bring a catapus. Oh, and I'm gonna wrangle me an alopotamus. <laughs> I hope you and Lou can join us next year. You got it. Thanks for having us. Later, friends. Now let's get you home, Lou. <laughs> to the best Beast Feast ever! Oh, bye, 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 Lou! See you next year! Wait, Lou! You forgot your squeaky! Squirt! No! no! to change my underwear. You, you want to see? That just proves you ate too many horse flying bean burritos. There's no way Gretchen can out-freak me. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> my high jump. <gasps> hey, careful. It's not all Preston's fault you lost. Uh, lost? Who says I lost? Easy, guys. According to Ghoulie's Graveyard Guide to Ghastly Ghosts, negative energy makes spirits testy. Let's all think happy thoughts. I'll start. Ooh, jelly beans. I'm thinking of, uh, raising you guys back to camp and me winning. Aw, McGee. Sorry there, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> There. Are you Preston? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Shoot! Yes. It's okay. He's gone. Not so into cats, huh? <gasps> Don't feel bad. I'm afraid of chipmunks. <laughs> True story. But listen, I won't tell if you won't tell. Come on, Gretchen. Easily beating you is no fun unless you try. Sorry, Preston. I've got to go hand McGee his butt. Thank you, Gretchen. Don't sweat it. That's what friends are for. <laughs> 
How this goes. What's the matter, Gretch? Afraid these pythons are gonna bite? You're on. And go! <laughs> <laughs> ha! One, two, three, four! I declare a thumb war! <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, skip off! Check it out, Gretch! Ha! You must be quaking in your skipping boots! Oh, man, what's it gonna take? <laughs> oh, I see how this is gonna go. If you can't beat him, prank him. <laughs> Come on, McGee. I didn't prank you. Well, who did then? Squirt? Not me. I'm I'm in the floor. Think what you want, McGee. I'm gonna get some shut eye. On the upside, buddy? You're on a perfect losing streak. Yeah, fine, but tomorrow will be <gasps> prank payback. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the? Good news, campers. Soon we'll have two shower temperatures. Cold. And icy. Oh, just what I've always never asked for. <laughs> oh, someone got up on the wrong side of the tree. And just wait till I get up. <laughs> oh, prank war is on. Nice one. Extreme sculpting is not for the timid. Don't be afraid to dive in. Sounds good to me. One dive bomb coming up. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, got the wrong Gretchen. <laughs> <gasps> I admire your creative birth. <laughs> hmm, not what I planned. For the poltergeist. Relax, Armand. Everyone, allow me to introduce my new ghost pal, Preston. Pleased to meet you, Preston. I knew you couldn't beat me without help. Oh, I can so beat you, but you wouldn't quit. So I let Preston teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't need lessons. You're the one that needs to learn some skills. Me? No way. My skills are way better. They are not. Are too, McGee. Are not. Are so. Uh -uh. Are so. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys, um, remember bad vibes and ghosts, not Gork. Look at him. He He's a powder keg of ectoplasmic rage. Never. Cookies! Uh, cannot! Can't do! Cannot! Who clearly enjoys cookies. I, you know, I, I was full anyway, really. <laughs> and whatever keeps him happy in a non green ectoplasmic rage kind of way. <laughs> Relax. We can have some friendly competition with no more secret ghost help. Right, Preston? <laughs> then let's settle this. Preston and I challenge you and Squirt to... Bully Batman Ball! Okay, wait. Put the emotionally unstable ghost into a highly competitive situation? I'm in. Oh, get used to that zero, McGee. It's the only score you'll get. As if... <gasps> hey! Are you on the... Wow! Gretchen, remind your partner no invisibility. Preston, no ghost tricks. We can beat him fair and square. Okay, Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Squirt. <laughs> Got it. Oops. Slimy, that's one for Team McGee and still zero for Team Gretch. Nice try. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Team Gretch and Preston failed to communicate. Two zip. Oh, yeah, baby, nothing but net. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, who's the best? Mm, we are. Oh. Better than Gretch? I'm um, we are. Um, uh, not me. <laughs> Negative energy. Not good. You're not the best, McGee. You're just lucky. Oh. I'm just choking. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Times like this, I wish I had more cookies. <laughs> Preston's afraid of cats. 
Preston's afraid of cats? Gretchen told secrets. Seriously? A ghost afraid of cats? <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. I knew Preston had such a fiery personality. Oh, I, I did. Ha, <laughs> uh, guys, I'm about to go from medium rare to well done. <laughs> a little rinse will do ya. And now for the spin cycle. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Now let's all just calm down. Preston! Cool it! Let you lie, but keep me bad friends! That's definitely the opposite of calling it fire! There's the fire! <laughs> I knew I was a hottie, but. <laughs> Yikes! Extreme wardrobe malfunction. Excuse me. Volunteer Chief Sawyer on the job. No need to panic. <laughs> that little panic wouldn't be out of place. Bucket Brigade. Keep them coming, kitties. We gotta cool off Preston or uh, we'll all be burnt toast. How about a cold shower? I'm on it. Cover me! Right behind you, camper. Ready, buckets, and fire! Cross that one off your bucket list. Also, run! Oh. Ah, Gretch! A little parched down here. We're working on it. Let's hook this baby up. Oh, got it. Sorry, camper. Going down! Well, at least I wasn't burned again. Oh, thanks! And now for our resident hothead! Oh. Ah. 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 Whoa! Help! We can't get through the flames are too high! Preston, I'm sorry you're mad, but Gretchen really needs your help! Gretchen? Yeah, Gretchen! Our friend! Thanks, friend. Uh-oh. We made it! Brilliant! <laughs> but where's the impossibly cute Highland Kitty? <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> Way to go, Preston. You're a much better friend to us than we were to you. One, two, three, four. Preston declares the war. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! My thumb. Campers, welcome to the Lake Bottom Looney Links. Whoa, cool course. Yeah, bring it on. What's this? Why, that squirt is the legendary Excalibur. It was forged in the fires of the ultimate gulf hazard, Mount Victorblow. <laughs> Those who use Excalibur are unbeatable, but only the pure of heart can pull it from the stone. So obviously it's never happened here. What, did, what can I say? I once built a hospital for kittens. <laughs> I don't need a magic club. Especially against Butt Squat, who's late again. About time, Butt Squinch. Sorry, McGunnaloos. I was polishing my sweet new golf clubs. Smell that diamond-filled titanium. I'd rather smell my victory. <clears throat> Stance, perfect. Hair, immaculate. Breath, fresh. Just hit it! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I meant to do that. I was just lulling you into a false sense of security before... Bam! Pure golf perfection. You want golf perfection? Caddy, give me a lefty. Okay. Back of the line, boys. No, no you get way. out of the way. On, hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, whatever. Oh, a triple hole in one. Yay. Mine went in first. Yeah, it only went in because mine knocked it in. <laughs> Sounds like a cat swallowed an accordion. Uh, that cat needs a vet and accordion lessons. <gasps> Haggis McJockstrap, Golf Monster Esquire, at your service. Please step aside, wait your turn, bag-faced McFlipflop. This is our tea time. Not anymore! Your bonny triple hole-in-one means you get to play in the greatest tournament of all, the Highlander Golf a Doom! Challenge accepted! Excellent. If you lose, you spend eternity in the Gulf of Doom tree. Ooh, I love trees. Did you carve all of those faces? Those aren't carvings. They're the trap souls of the golfers I've beaten. No pressure. So what do we get if we win? Win? No one ever wins. Who will be keeper of the rules? Oh, oh, me, me, me. So be it, Caddy. And now, Golf for Doom! 18 holes of perfectly manicured terror! Well, it's just like our mini putt, only. <laughs> only we could get barbecued! Yeah, I know. Awesome! Ah, the great green game! No phones on the green. My faithful caddy, Angus, thinks they're biscuits. Hello there. Who's a good bagpipe? Who's a good bagpipe? Angus, nine iron! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's tough luck, Haggy. Can I call you Haggy? We'll see about that, laddie. And no, it's Haggis. Come on, magic. Cheat much? Uh, no rule against magic in here. And there's no rule against awesomeness either. Time for some McGee magic. Here you go, McMagic. Oh, <laughs> club right. <laughs> ho! Ha! Whoops. Oh, sorry. Nice dragon. Caddy! We'll make it up the next hole! Ah, hole seven, Pirate's Pain. A personal favorite. Ha! Beat that shot, Duffers! Oh, just watch me! <laughs> please, please, please go in! Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> Stick that in your bagpipe and toot it, Haggy! Nothing but cup. What up? What up? <laughs> okay, time to fight fire with fire using a little strategy I like to call cheat to win. What? No way! Gretchen and I aren't listening. No, uh, no, 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 let's no, no, see. No, no, no. Uh, cheat on a cheater or become a carnivorous tree's dinner. Oh, I'm in. I was already trying to cheat anyway. I'm sorry, Squirt. Let's do this. Seriously? Here, try this. Double bank. <laughs> Off a fuzzy butt, ball in the center pocket. <laughs> Keeper toss! And that is how you crush an opponent's dreams, Haga style. Oh, come on! There's no way a flaming gamer toss isn't cheating! According to Rule 46, they're actually encouraged. It all comes down to the 18th hole! The impossibly savage! Par four! Windmill! <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Oh! 
of terror! <laughs> Move it, ya wee dotty fools! Hello, why isn't he using his magic? Ah! Got so caught up in the game, I forgot my sweet magic. Thank you. That's how it's done. Your shot. And then, the tree! Ah, uh, Squirt, uh, maybe now's the time to fudge the score. It's kind of life for Splinters 24-7! No, we won't do it fair and square. Besides, Hag has just added 13 swings to his score. Sink this in three strokes or less, and we win! In that case, relax, guys. I've got this. Don't blow it, my goofball! Oh. What? I was being supportive. Stay focused, McGee. Just sink it in two. Steady and... <laughs> oh, sorry. I got sand trap in my throat. That's it, butt snot! <laughs> I'm sick of you putting in, ruining everything with your squatty cars and your titanium toothpick! I probably should have saved one club for my last swing, huh? You think? <sighs> what about Sawyer's leg? Went home. <laughs> and that means it's three time! No, 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 no! Please save me for last! I'm sweet like dessert! <gasps> <gasps> Excalibur! <laughs> Come on, give you rusty old bugger! Huh? I knit sweaters for naked mole rats. But you cheat at Mini Pot! <gasps> I cheat at Mini Pot! <laughs> ah! Ah, thanks a lot! Now I'm a tree zit! Ah. <laughs> Leave Angus alone! It's not his fault! When you gotta go, you gotta go! Ah ha 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 ha! You lost unfair and unsquare. Excalibur, butter! <laughs> Squirt, you're our only chance. Me? But, uh, I'm up your heart. I once threw out a recyclable can by accident. I. <gasps> <laughs> yes, substitution. Our caddy will take the shot. Not fair. <laughs> Actually, it's right here in the rule book. Pure of heart caddies may substitute for players. Ow! Okay, Squirt. Elbows in. Arch your back. Yeah, behind. Bend your knees. Wiggle your butt. Close your eyes. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> <laughs> By the power of Excalibur, I win. You won! Take that, Haggy! Oh, oh! I'm too bonny to be tree meat! And don't call me Haggy! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Squirt! Who knew you were the best golfer of us all? Yeah! The best and most honest and most... Hello! Actual best golfer standing right here. Uh Technically, I saved all your bottom butts. Ah! Call that tweed wind bag off me! Rabies, I tell ya! Rabies!
Well, Jerry? Uh -huh. <laughs> Bucky! I was farting and snoring? <laughs> you weren't exactly singing lullabies. Whoa. <sighs> oh, thanks, guys. Another perfect day, Kim. <laughs> here, Rhino Chick Chick. Here, Rhino Chick Chick. Right. Gotta look both ways in case of Rhino Chicken stand. <laughs> Should have checked the animal traffic report. Hey! How many times do I have to tell you guys not to borrow my clothes? Aww, I can't stay mad at you. Ah, who has time for mad when you're hungry? Let's get some breakfast. Oh, sorry, McGee! Give the head to the body, monkey. <laughs> Interception! And McGee makes the pass to Sawyer. Oh, oh, not sure this is better. <laughs> Sorry, Sawyer. Oh. Out, out! Back to the nether regions where you belong. <laughs> Enjoy. Aww. You hope you don't mind. We started breakfast without you. <sighs> <laughs> Can't a guy sit without getting a butt full of quills and a nose full of stink? Yeah! <laughs> this is supposed to be a totally terrifying monster camp, not a totally annoying zoo. <gasps> Sorry I lost my temper. Sometimes your furry friends and I don't see things eye to eye, and that's okay. <laughs> Because no matter how many shirts they burn from my body, I have a place for them right here. <laughs> oh, Jerry, how did you get in there? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't want to know. The point is, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Am I right, guys? Yes! <gasps> no! I've had enough of this furry freak show. Well, some of these freaks have feathers and scales, you know, and I'm pretty sure they didn't mean to. I don't want to hear it. From now on, no more animals in this cabin. McGee, you might want to rethink that. My best friend wouldn't make me choose between him and my animals. Huh. Well, then maybe you and me are... <gasps> are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm saying that this is... In that case, goodbye, former friend. Come on, guys. We'll start our own camp upriver, where humans and freaks can have comic book fires in peace and harmony. Squirt! No monkeys allowed! What? Squirt, wait! I was only kidding. <laughs> Slimy, don't you go too. Aw, oh, smooth move, McGee. <sighs> uh, where's Squirt going? I don't know what happened, but I'm guessing it was all your fault. Relax. Squirt and I may have had a little disagreement, but they'll be back as soon as they get hungry. No! <laughs> well, that might not be for a while. What if? Squirt brought this on himself. Now, who's for an exciting game of Go Fish? How about an exciting game of Go Get Your Friend? Why? He made his choice, and these feet are not moving from this spot. <laughs> My Arachno Man number one is still in mint condition. Follow that comic. <laughs> no, 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 not Arachno Man. Phew. It's just my Fridge Magnet Man number 17, <laughs> and I got three of those. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> but I've only got two hands. Just paddle. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like we lost him, thanks to my power paddling. I think it was less about the paddling and more about that. Oh, 
I like what Squirt's done with the place. <laughs> Me too. You never looked so good. Come on, we'll just tell Squirt we happen to be in the neighborhood. Wow! Check it out. Squirt sure knows how to make an impression. Not bad. Guy's been away for a couple of hours, too. Imagine what he'd do with a week. Way to treat guests. I am Colonel Squirts, King of Squirtopia. In my land, there is but one rule no McKees allowed. And Sunday shall only be eaten on Tuesdays, so really, that's two rules. But the most important one is no McKees allowed. Uh, um, McGee? Um. Oh, right! It's Thursday. <laughs> Leave, Scortopia McGee, before things start to get crazy. Start to get crazy? Maybe we should go get help. No way! Not without my comic! You mean... Colonel Squirtz's comic. Bingo! That's the one! Come on, Gretch! Let's fly! Sounds like a plan! <laughs> Trying to take you home! This is my home! Freedom! <laughs> <gasps> what now, smart guy? Ah, to the coffin! After them, those bottom dwellers must pay for their insolence. Plus, I haven't finished reading that comic. It contains valuable lessons on friendship. Untie the boat, Gretch! Untie, untie! Squirtopians are coming! Paying more attention to where I'm paddling. Whoa! We're going down the drain! <laughs> Stay back, Squirt! Go back! Never! Keep paddling for Squirtopia! Oh, Squirt's too far gone to listen. You know, he's a lot like you. That's not true. I'm making completely rational decisions. Now, let's paddle into the whirlpool! What? No! Trust me, would I risk harming a limited edition first issue? You got a point. You're not getting away! The key! Just paddle, Gretch. Never escape, Colonel Squirts. Right now, we've got bigger problems. <laughs> Hermione, Herman, Francis, Sigmund, Biff, Cupcake, Sticky, and Sticky. I'm coming! Squirt, no! It's too dangerous! I don't care. They're my friends! <laughs> if they're your friends, that makes them my friends, too. Don't worry, buddy. I'll save them. <gasps> Not your Arachno Man number one. <laughs> There's only two number ones in my life. Gretchen and you! Never fear! McGee the animal lover is here! Grab hold, fellas. <laughs> Sorry about your comic, McGee. Yeah, that was a big sacrifice, best friend. Hey, no worries, buddy. It's still totally readable. Story time! In the first panel, we meet Arachno Man, a superhero who will do anything for his friends. And his friends' friends, too. Ew! If I'm gonna be enveloped in a stinky fart cloud, I'm glad it's with my best friend. Uh, thanks? thanks?
Smash potatoes. Pass the gargoyle gravy squirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Earth to squirt. Come in, squirt. Huh? Sorry, Gretchen. Here. It's like living with a stinky pipe organ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You think Squirt's acting extra weird today? Uh, you know, I've seen worse. One time he let a python swallow him to get back Sawyer's wrench. Here you go, Sawyer. See? He's just tired. All right, top bunk for me tonight. If you say so. Night. signals across the galaxy and finally received your response. That's a song that's been stuck in my head. And my butt. All hail King Squirt, heir to the Scoopatarian Royal Squat Throne. Wait, royalty? Maybe. But an alien? I think we would have noticed that. Have you not noticed the king's unending supply of personal gas? <laughs> A trait long documented in the Squanton Royal Bloodline. Also a trait long documented after eating chili burrito ice cream. I shall prove it beyond a doubt. Let the royal squatesting begin. Only a true scubitarian king can stomach the foulest, most disgusting food on my planet. Oh boy. Ah! Tastes like chicken. Oh, with top notes and toe jam. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is. Apparently, you have a superior constitution. Squatest 2, can you escape the squadreted squametal squeezer? Also fun at birthday parties. Ta-da! Nice work, Houdini. <laughs> Bravo, my liege. Only a scoopatarian can achieve such supreme bendiness. <laughs> huh. And I always thought it was because I was triple jointed. Squat has three, my personal favorite. Taming a wild scumiba. You humans may want to avert your ocular sensors. This could get squishy. <laughs> a graceful single celled organism. You are. Yes, you are. Only a true king knows the squamiba's foot is its tickle spot. That's a foot? Wow. It looks like you're alien royalty. Hey, don't forget us little people, Kingy. Now, will you come to Scoopiter to accept our planet's greatest squander? <sighs> Gosh, I, I really hate to miss Armand's extreme quilting, but oh, what the hey? Oh! Yeah, still putting the woohoo on hold. Wow, sure gonna miss you, pal. Just thanks, Quirt. Soon you'll be living the royal high life. Riding in stretch saucers, hanging with alien reality stars. Surprise! We got you a little something to remember us by. We washed out most of the stains and signed it on the scroogey end. I just hope the latrine doesn't back up while you're gone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Smells like home. Squirt, you don't have to go. You can stay and smell home all you want. I'm sorry, but the king's gotta do 
what a king's got to do. <laughs> I got... Hi, Hi. Yeah. Gone. Are we really okay with this? I am. Mostly because i got a plan. Come on, Gretch. I'm never going to see my bottom butts again. <clears throat> I'm afraid not, my liege. Perhaps an in-flight snack will ease your discomfort. Never say never. Nice. Hi, escort. Foolish stowaways, you must go. I shall call you a squad taxi. No squad. As king, I hereby decree they can come along. As you wish, my liege. Let the squad ceremony begin. Wow, this throne comes with pinchy accessories. Hey, what's with the big squeeze? Kings tend to get a little squidgety when it's time for the sacrifice. Sacrifice? <laughs> sacrifice? You never said anything about a sacrifice. Oh, didn't I? Squilly me. We throw all our kings into the Squipitarian squan. <laughs> we have arrived. Now your boundless supply of royal squamethane will fuel our squan for another squant in year. Put it back in squant screen. Nobody throws our royal pal into the sun. Yeah, back away from the control panel, squanty. <gasps> what manner of weapon is this foul smelling squatting thing? <laughs> I do not understand. Are you not squandered to be sacrificed? <laughs> what can I say? I, I squand burn easily. <laughs> Excuse me. Stress too. It's okay. I'll get you out, Squirt. Now, uh, what does what here? I. <laughs> you know, normally I'm great at pushing buttons, but. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Here, let me try. Oh, we have got to get one of these for the cabin. For the sake of my planet, you meddling humans must be... Squoliminated! Squoliminated! Guys, tickle its foot! You can't tell which part's the foot! Now, be good, Earthlings, and let the Squamiba absorb you so I can get back to the sacrifice. Hey! Sawyer's gonna want that! like a movie theater floor. Ah! For my squan to survive, I must have your kingly squan methane! Extendable eyeballs! Too strong! Can't fight them! Oh, yes! Squipitarian eyeballs are the mightiest in the galaxy! Wait a squam minute. Why didn't you use your own extendable eyeballs to overpower mine? Maybe it's because Earthlings don't have them? Told you, Squirt wasn't an alien. That means I'm 100% bottom dweller! Extendable eyeballs, the one squat test I neglected to administer! Great Squant! The squat is going out! My beloved Scoopiter is doomed! Doom doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't, but those farts sure do. Well, it ain't over yet, Squanty. Squirt may not be an alien king, but he's still got plenty of gas. Here, your highness, prepare for a squamethane transfer. Sure, but I, I just need a little privacy. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. Squamethane Torpedo Prime! Squamethane Torpedo, away! It's a Squamericle! Scoopiter is in your debt! Oh, great! Gassy one! And I can refuel it whenever you get low! Just give me a couple days' notice so I can pack away the burritos! 
No, I'd give anything to see Squirt one last time. Your wish is my royal command. <laughs> <laughs>